Hi, I am Cassie Turner. I'm Vicki Oliver. I am Dan Miller. Uh, Mitchell Sell. When Americans go over to a, go over to uh, a foreign land, it's like you know, there's always yeah, we can do things better, um, we can do things quicker. But um, when you get there, it's you're on their time and God's time, and really, we just have to open up your heart to um, to God and to the other people. And uh, that was just one thing that really stuck out to me. I think it would have to be fear. I think I was very fearful and. I mean, I call this whole thing like a leap of faith for me because now I'm very, tr I mean, I, I always heard about trusting God and thought that I trusted God, but now I really trust God. I would have to say an unbelievable amount of appreciation uh, for life in general, everything. Uh, today I was going through Adrian and before we left, the construction's been a little bit annoying, I guess. Uh, but I was just so thankful for these roads. I mean, they, they taught us, you know, how to really love, how to really appreciate. And uh, honestly, I just hope that I could uh, learn from them. I saw hope. Um, the church in La Ceiba has experienced a lot of difficulty. Um, and I actually participated in the trip last year. So I kind of have the lens of kind of being able to compare the way things were last year versus this year, um, and there's been some increased difficulty. So just, I was able to see God providing hope for the people of La Ceiba, as well as for uh, Crossroads. It was kind of a mutual, everybody was pouring into one another, even though we were all really tapped out, and it was obvious that the only place that that energy could come from would be God. The most amazing thing is I feel like I, I kept hearing people say that they felt like they took away far more than they gave and I truly feel selfish because I feel like I came home with so much and I didn't do anything there. And I mean I've always heard people say that and I couldn't, I thought how could you do that? But I get it, I get it. Even though I was in a foreign land far away from my family. He, um, he was just, there was just an incredible sense of comfort knowing that he was there around God's time and that he's in control and everything was fine. For me, I, it feels as though God kind of stirred within me like a renewed desire to connect and build community here in our community. It just kind of renewed my spirit to come and, and do more here to, to build more into friendships and to pour more into people um, because it, it makes me feel like if I could do that thousands of miles away, I can definitely do it here. Maybe he gave me some more patience, um, slow down a little in life. Uh, it's only been a few days, so I hope I can keep implementing that, you know, so maybe even taught me to love more, to be honest. Uh, and it's definitely something good to see um, as far as uh, see like another lifestyle. Because uh, I guarantee you'll come back different, you'll come back changed. What we brought back was probably a hundred times more than we could ever have given them. So I would just say anybody that's uh, considering going on a missions trip to uh, heavily review it and, uh, and uh, go for it. It's a really eye-opening, amazing experience that builds perspective and opens your eyes to, to so many new things. I would just say if you've got the tiniest stirring, pursue that and listen to that voice in God because He can use us all over. Even though it's scary, it transforms you and um, in a way that words can't describe. I mean, you just have to trust. And I mean, that was my lesson is is trusting and I was surrounded by so many amazing people who believed in me and supported me and prayed for me that all you have to do is share that you're scared and share those fears and you're going to have the support that you need. There's a huge need um, in, in La Ceiba and uh, the people they, they, they call us the angels from heaven when we come there. They, 
they appreciate everything that we do and just the presence of us being there with them um, is much appreciated. It, again, it was just a very easeful and doable trip and I recommend any, anyone to go. Um, and, and God says go into a foreign land and, and we did and um, everybody rose up and it was a very comfortable situation with us going.